G'day and welcome to the fourth video in the series where we're looking at Jim Karonis's 100 Integrals. This is number four and as you can see it's, it bears a, a striking resemblance to uh, number two in that we have a function to a power and basically its derivative in front. And that should remind us of this pattern. If we have a function to a power and we take its derivative, we first of all get, using the chain rule, we treat it first like x to the n and we get n x to the n minus 1, but then being a chain we have to multiply by the derivative of the function inside, which is f dash x. So we're looking for this pattern where we have a function to a power, its derivative in front, and some number. That's if we're trying to match this exactly. So what do we have here? We have a function to a power. We have its derivative. Now the derivative of cosine is actually negative sine. So I'm going to put an, a negative sign here and one out the front as well to compensate because I'm trying to get the integral itself to match this pattern. And if 3 is n minus 1, then this number is 1 more. So I'd love to have a 4 here, which I will do. I'll put it here. A 4, so I compensate with a quarter out the front. And that means that my integral now has all three components. It has the function to a power, it has the derivative, and it has the number. And it's now perfectly designed to produce that as its integral. So at the front I'm going to have negative one quarter. And the integral of this is going to be cosine x to the power 4 plus c. There you go. It's finished. That was very, very quick. And if we tidied it up, uh, a lot of people would prefer to combine the, the fraction, the quarter, with the function to get cosine of the 4x over 4 plus c. Both are good and acceptable answers, depending on your preference. But there you go. Short and sweet, that's number 4 taken care of. Let's look forward to number 5. I thank you very much for watching.